This pen cost $10,300, making it one of the world's most expensive pens. It's the Mont Blanc Blue Skeleton Fountain Pen. But what exactly makes this pen worth $10,000? To answer that, let's rewind a bit to last month when I was searching for new pens to buy. I stumbled across an image of a stunning blue and silver pen and I knew I wanted to try it out. That was until I saw the price tag. I wasn't about to spend that much on a pen, but then I thought to myself, I tested the world's most expensive colored pencils. I I bought an ordinary pencil for $1,000. If anyone was crazy enough to put this to the test, it was me. So I went ahead and spent my life savings on this pen just to make an entertaining viral video for you guys. This is the $10,000 one, so three, two, one. Oh, it's a box inside a box. Dude, I'm scared to touch it. Ooh, yo, this is it. This is one pen, one $10,000 pen. Dude, that, that's like half a year of rent. <laughs> My heart's racing. Right, I'm going 000. in. Here's the top of the box. It's like kind of pen-ish. At first we were kind of scared because we thought it leaked through, but it turns out um, it was just part of the design. Wait, it's a box inside a box inside a box. This is like a used, a nice used car right here. Okay, I'm scared to touch it. What are we supposed to do? What if we break it? The front opens out. Careful. <laughs> Turkey, what are your thoughts on it? Okay, yes, it's blue like you. Okay, Turkey, that's enough for you. <laughs> Last time we did the Louis Vuitton pencils and those felt kind of cheap, but this actually feels really, really nice. This is also 10 times the price. Should I open yes, it? Yes, yes. Did you oh, guys get it? Oh. Whoa, what is that? Whoa, okay, so this is what's inside. Dude, my heart is racing right now. Is it racing because they're worried about paying for food and rent this month? <laughs> Writing is a gift, pass it on. Yo, okay, so this gives the exact model and this gives like the date of purchase and stuff because this is one of Mont Blanc's most expensive pens so that's why I think it's so fancy over here. I think it's perfect for smacking turkey. <laughs> Should I open it? Oh. Dude, feel the inside. <laughs> Like felt lined or something. <laughs> what is this? Oh my Please don't drop it. This pen came in a box like that big and it's all for this. It's so cool. cool. Like it's cold to the touch. You can feel all the metal. Mont Blanc logo on the tip right here. Oh no, there's a stain over here. $10,000 <gasps> and there's a stain. Well, they got some Chinese symbols on here. Dude, I can't read Chinese. Chinese. Oh, it's different languages. Dude, I think this is like a gem right there, like a legit gem. <gasps> Dude, I just untwisted it. Okay, so you untwist it. <laughs> Yo, dude, look at this. Whoa! So when you want the ink to go in, I I'm not sure if the cameras can see this, we can take B-roll later, but when you want the ink to go in, look at this. Do you see it sliding down? After doing some more research, I found out that this pen had an 18 karat solid white gold nib and the cap is topped off with a 2.5 millimeter blue sapphire. This is next level. Time to test the $10,000 one. There's no turning back now. Don't we need like an ink cartridge? I think we're gonna have to order that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. All right guys, we're back. It's been five days. We're gonna test this out now, but we have the ink. Wow, I love the sponge. Ooh. Sponge is perfect for your face. <laughs> Dude, that looks weird. This is the weirdest ink cartridge I've ever seen in my life. So the way this pen works is actually pretty crazy. It uses a vacuum system to suck up the ink from a bottle. This vacuum system can be controlled using the twisty thingy at the top of the pen. Oh. Whoa. Make it fatter and skinnier. My hands aren't worthy of this pen. Then I'll take it. It's like a little telescope. Oh shoot, we already made an oopsies. It's always supposed to stay upwards. That was a s what are you doing? Steve? Steve! I'm a daredevil, what can I say? <laughs> Now, before I do a crazy drawing, I invited a couple of my friends to come try out this pen. And it was a complete disaster. One of my friends dropped the pen, which almost destroyed it, but luck was on our side and thank <gasps> nothing broke. Oh, no! Dude! Felix! Felix! You're actually what so you dumb. <laughs> it explode! Look, now there's ink all over the top. 